my dear students how are you hope all of you are keeping fine and attending the online classes regularly today we are discussing the third lesson of your 8th standard english textbook taj mahal taj mahal is a poem written by devendranath tagore have you heard about devendranath tagore yes he is an indian writer a bengali writer who wrote our national anthem he is also the first non european who got nobel prize in literature for his work geetanjali i'll give you some points to write his profile later this particular poem taj mahal is the opening lines of a lengthy poem named shah jahan have you heard about shah jahan and taj mahal yes taj mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world it is built in white marble and situated on the banks of river yamuna do you know why did shah jahan build taj mahal yes in memory of his beloved mumtaz mahal the original name of mumtaz mahal is arjuman banu beg the meaning of mumtaz mahal is jewel of the palace she died while giving birth to her 14th baby shah jahan was totally depressed after the death of mumtaz mahal and he built taj mahal in memory of mumtaz mahal and this particular poem taj mahal the poet rabindranath tagore he tries to convey the message that art is eternal that means eternal means everlasting art never dies now Let's hear a beautiful recitation of this poem. You knew emperor of India Shah Jahan that life youth wealth renown all flowed away down the stream of time your only dream was to preserve forever your heart's pain The harsh thunder of imperial power would fade into sleep like a sunset's crimson splendor but it was your hope that at least a single eternally heaved sigh would stay to greet the sky though emeralds rubies pearls are all but as the glitter of a rainbow tricking out empty air and must pass away Yet still one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time in the form of this white and gleaming Taj Mahal. Have you enjoyed the poem? Now let's look the poem in detail. Before that, let's see what are the new words given in this poem. Okay, have you learned the meanings of the new words? Now let's enter into this poem. The first line of the poem: You knew, Emperor of India, Shah Jahan, that life, youth, wealth, renown, all flowed away down the stream of time. The poem is addressed to Shah Jahan. The poet Rabindranath Tagore says. to shah jahan that you knew emperor of india emperor means the ruler of an empire so shah jahan emperor of india you knew that life youth wealth renown renown means fame all this flowed away down the stream of time life youth 
wealth, renown. All this represent worldly pleasures. So he says all the worldly pleasures would float away down the stream of time. Stream means a short river. So down the stream of time, all these worldly pleasures, as time passes, all these worldly pleasures will float away. Next line. Your only dream was to preserve forever your heart's pain. The poet says to Shah Jahan, your only dream was to preserve forever your heart's pain. Preserve means to stop from spoiling. We usually preserve pickles and all. You remember? So, your only dream was to preserve forever your heart's pain. The poet says, Shah Jahan's only dream was to preserve forever his heart's pain. What is the pain of Shah Jahan's heart? Yes, the death of his beloved Mumdas Mahal. So Shah Jahan's dream was to preserve his sadness forever. The next line. The harsh thunder of imperial power would fade into sleep like a sunset's crimson splinter. The poet says, the harsh, the harsh thunder of imperial power, the loud roaring sound of thunder, the thundering sound of imperial power, the royal power would fade into sleep. That means gradually it disappears into forgetfulness, into sleep like a sunset's crimson splinter. Have you seen or have you looked at the sky during sunset and sunrise? What is the color of the sky then? Yes, it is dark red or deep red. And crimson means deep red. Is it beautiful to look at? Yes, is it stay there for a long time? No, it will soon fade away. Similarly, the part here compares that imperial power, the harsh thound, sound of imperial power or the thundering sound of imperial power would fade into sleep like a sunset's crimson splinter. Here the poet uses a particular poetic device here. Do you know which is the poetic device used here? Yes, it is simile. What do you mean by a simile? Yes, a simile is a comparison with as or like. That means two things are compared with as or like. So, you please underline these lines. Here is the, the poetic device is simile. Let's see the next line. But it was your hope that at least a single eternally heaved sigh would stay to grieve the sky. The poet says that to Shah Jahan that it was his hope at least a single eternally heaved sigh would grieve the sky. Eternally heaved sky. Eternal. I told you. What is the meaning of eternal? Lasting forever. So the pain of Shah Jahan's heart, the eternally heaved sigh. Sigh means the breath, the, to take a breath with a sound. So the loud breathing sound of Shah Jahan's sadness would stay to grieve the sky. Grieve means to make sad. So it was Shah Jahan's hope that his sadness would even make the sky sad. The next line. Though emeralds, rubies, pearls are all, but as a glitter of a rainbow, taking out empty air and must pass away. Emeralds, rubies, pearls. How do you mean by these things? Yes, they are the precious stones. Emeralds, rubies, pearls. These precious stones also represent the worldly pleasures. They must pass away. Just like the rainbow taking out an empty air. Taking out means decorating. Have you seen a rainbow decorating the sky? 
is it stay yes or no yes is it stay there for a long time no very soon it fades away it is transient what do you mean by transient it stays only for a short time so the opposite of eternal is transient just like a rainbow decorating the empty air these precious stones like emeralds rubies pearls are all they also pass away in these lines also the poet uses the same poetic device do you remember which is a poetic device yes simile so simile is a comparison using as or like so in these lines the poet uses as or like yes as is used here so you just underline these lines also and the last lines yet still one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time in the form of this white and gleaming taj mahal what do you mean by this lines shah jahan died mumtaz mahal died and the artist who built Taj Mahal also died but still the work of art Taj Mahal which stays in these lines the poet says that one solitary tear would hang on the cheek of time one single drop of Shah Jahan's tears would hang on the cheek of time forever in the form of this white gleaming taj mahal i told you that taj mahal is built in white marble so through this poem the poet tries to convey the message that art is eternal everlasting that means art never dies i hope that you have understood the poem very well you read the poem once again try to understand more about this poem thank you you have to do some activities based on this poem and the first activity is write a profile of rabindranath tagore using the hints given second question which is a poetic device used in the poem and write the examples from the poem or write the lines from the poem and the last question write an appreciation of this poem thank you